こんにちは。英語のシャドーイング練習教室へようこそ。司会のシャドウです。ここでは役立つ英会話を練習してネイティブ英語を身につけよう。日常生活で使える英語フレーズを10個、10回ずつ読み上げるから、その後に声に出して10回練習しよう。それじゃあ、始めるよう。Hey, Clara. I'm doing a project on influential musicians in history and I've chosen Beethoven. Could you help me out? Of course, Jake. Beethoven is a fascinating figure. Where would you like to start? Hey, Clara. I'm doing a project on influential musicians in history and I've chosen Beethoven. Could you help me out? Of course, Jake. Beethoven is a fascinating figure. Where would you like to start? Hey, Clara. I'm doing a project on influential musicians in history and I've chosen Beethoven. Could you help me out? Of course, Jake. Beethoven is a fascinating figure. Where would you like to start? Hey, Clara. I'm doing a project on influential musicians in history and I've chosen Beethoven. Could you help me out? Of course, Jake. Beethoven is a fascinating figure. Where would you like to start? Hey, Clara. I'm doing a project on influential musicians in history and I've chosen Beethoven. Could you help me out? Of course, Jake. Beethoven is a fascinating figure. Where would you like to start? Hey, Clara. I'm doing a project on influential musicians in history and I've chosen Beethoven. Could you help me out? Of course, Jake. Beethoven is a fascinating figure. Where would you like to start? Hey, Clara. I'm doing a project on influential musicians in history and I've chosen Beethoven. Could you help me out? Of course, Jake. Beethoven is a fascinating figure. Where would you like to start? Hey, Clara. I'm doing a project on influential musicians in history and I've chosen Beethoven. Could you help me out? Of course, Jake. Beethoven is a fascinating figure. Where would you like to start? Hey, Clara. I'm doing a project on influential musicians in history and I've chosen Beethoven. Could you help me out? Of course, Jake. Beethoven is a fascinating figure. Where would you like to start? Hey, 
Plera. I'm doing a project on influential musicians in history and I've chosen Beethoven. Could you help me out? Of course, Jake. Beethoven is a fascinating figure. Where would you like to start? Maybe we could start with his early life. Good idea. Ludwig van Beethoven was born in Bonn, Germany, in December 1770. His father, Johann van Beethoven, was a musician himself, and he recognized Ludwig's talent early on. He was a very demanding teacher, though. Maybe we could start with his early life. Good idea. Ludwig van Beethoven was born in Bonn, Germany, in December 1770. His father, Johann van Beethoven, was a musician himself, and he recognized Ludwig's talent early on. He was a very demanding teacher, though. Maybe we could start with his early life. Good idea. Ludwig van Beethoven was born in Bonn, Germany, in December 1770. His father, Johann van Beethoven, was a musician himself, and he recognized Ludwig's talent early on. He was a very demanding teacher, though. Maybe we could start with his early life. Good idea. Ludwig van Beethoven was born in Bonn, Germany, in December 1770. His father, Johann van Beethoven, was a musician himself, and he recognized Ludwig's talent early on. He was a very demanding teacher, though. Maybe we could start with his early life. Good idea. Ludwig van Beethoven was born in Bonn, Germany, in December 1770. His father, Johann van Beethoven, was a musician himself, and he recognized Ludwig's talent early on. He was a very demanding teacher, though. Maybe we could start with his early life. Good idea. Ludwig van Beethoven was born in Bonn, Germany, in December 1770. His father, Johann van Beethoven, was a musician himself, and he recognized Ludwig's talent early on. He was a very demanding teacher, though. Maybe we could start with his early life. Good idea. Ludwig van Beethoven was born in Bonn, Germany, in December 1770. His father, Johann van Beethoven, was a musician himself, and he recognized Ludwig's talent early on. He was a very demanding teacher, though.
Maybe we could start with his early life. Good idea. Ludwig van Beethoven was born in Bonn, Germany, in December 1770. His father, Johann van Beethoven, was a musician himself, and he recognized Ludwig's talent early on. He was a very demanding teacher, though. Maybe we could start with his early life. Good idea. Ludwig van Beethoven was born in Bonn, Germany, in December 1770. His father, Johann van Beethoven, was a musician himself, and he recognized Ludwig's talent early on. He was a very demanding teacher, though. Maybe we could start with his early life. Good idea. Ludwig van Beethoven was born in Bonn, Germany, in December 1770. His father, Johann van Beethoven, was a musician himself, and he recognized Ludwig's talent early on. He was a very demanding teacher, though. I heard Beethoven was quite young when he started performing, right? Yes, that's correct. He performed his first public concert when he was just seven years old. At age 10, he left school to study music full-time. He later studied with the renowned composer Joseph Haydn in Vienna. I heard Beethoven was quite young when he started performing, right? Yes, that's correct. He performed his first public concert when he was just seven years old. At age 10, he left school to study music full-time. He later studied with the renowned composer Joseph Haydn in Vienna. I heard Beethoven was quite young when he started performing, right? Yes, that's correct. He performed his first public concert when he was just seven years old. At age 10, he left school to study music full-time. He later studied with the renowned composer Joseph Haydn in Vienna. I heard Beethoven was quite young when he started performing, right? Yes, that's correct. He performed his first public concert when he was just seven years old. At age 10, he left school to study music full-time. He later studied with the renowned composer Joseph Haydn in Vienna. I heard Beethoven was quite young when he started performing, right? Yes, that's correct. He performed his first public concert when he was just seven years old. At age 10, he left school to study music full-time. He later studied with the renowned composer Joseph Haydn in Vienna.
I heard Beethoven was quite young when he started performing, right? Yes, that's correct. He performed his first public concert when he was just seven years old. At age 10, he left school to study music full-time. He later studied with the renowned composer Joseph Haydn in Vienna. I heard Beethoven was quite young when he started performing, right? Yes, that's correct. He performed his first public concert when he was just seven years old. At age 10, he left school to study music full-time. He later studied with the renowned composer Joseph Haydn in Vienna. I heard Beethoven was quite young when he started performing, right? Yes, that's correct. He performed his first public concert when he was just seven years old. At age 10, he left school to study music full-time. He later studied with the renowned composer Joseph Haydn in Vienna. I heard Beethoven was quite young when he started performing, right? Yes, that's correct. He performed his first public concert when he was just seven years old. At age 10, he left school to study music full-time. He later studied with the renowned composer Joseph Haydn in Vienna. I heard Beethoven was quite young when he started performing, right? Yes, that's correct. He performed his first public concert when he was just seven years old. At age 10, he left school to study music full-time. He later studied with the renowned composer Joseph Haydn in Vienna. And then he started composing his own works. Yes, in his early 20s he started gaining recognition as a composer. However, this was also when he began to lose his hearing, which had a profound effect on his life and work. And then he started composing his own works. Yes, in his early 20s he started gaining recognition as a composer. However, this was also when he began to lose his hearing, which had a profound effect on his life and work. And then he started composing his own works. Yes, in his early 20s he started gaining recognition as a composer. However, this was also when he began to lose his hearing, which had a profound effect on his life and work. And then he started composing his own works. Yes, in his early 20s he started gaining recognition as a composer. However, this was also when he began to lose his hearing, which had a profound effect on his life and work.
and then he started composing his own works. Yes, in his early 20s he started gaining recognition as a composer. However, this was also when he began to lose his hearing, which had a profound effect on his life and work. And then he started composing his own works. Yes, in his early 20s he started gaining recognition as a composer. However, this was also when he began to lose his hearing, which had a profound effect on his life and work. And then he started composing his own works. Yes, in his early 20s he started gaining recognition as a composer. However, this was also when he began to lose his hearing, which had a profound effect on his life and work. And then he started composing his own works. Yes, in his early 20s he started gaining recognition as a composer. However, this was also when he began to lose his hearing, which had a profound effect on his life and work. And then he started composing his own works. Yes, in his early 20s he started gaining recognition as a composer. However, this was also when he began to lose his hearing, which had a profound effect on his life and work. And then he started composing his own works. Yes, in his early 20s he started gaining recognition as a composer. However, this was also when he began to lose his hearing, which had a profound effect on his life and work. That must have been devastating for a musician. Absolutely. But despite this personal tragedy, Beethoven's middle period was when he composed some of his most popular works, like his Fifth Symphony. He began to break away from the traditional forms and rules of music of his time. That must have been devastating for a musician. Absolutely. But despite this personal tragedy, Beethoven's middle period was when he composed some of his most popular works, like his Fifth Symphony. He began to break away from the traditional forms and rules of music of his time. That must have been devastating for a musician. Absolutely. But despite this personal tragedy, Beethoven's middle period was when he composed some of his most popular works, like his Fifth Symphony. He began to break away from the traditional forms and rules of music of his time. That must have been devastating for a musician. Absolutely. But despite this personal tragedy, Beethoven's middle period was when he composed some of his most popular works, like his Fifth Symphony. 
he began to break away from the traditional forms and rules of music of his time. That must have been devastating for a musician. Absolutely. But despite this personal tragedy, Beethoven's middle period was when he composed some of his most popular works, like his Fifth Symphony. He began to break away from the traditional forms and rules of music of his time. That must have been devastating for a musician. Absolutely. But despite this personal tragedy, Beethoven's middle period was when he composed some of his most popular works, like his Fifth Symphony. He began to break away from the traditional forms and rules of music of his time. That must have been devastating for a musician. Absolutely. But despite this personal tragedy, Beethoven's middle period was when he composed some of his most popular works, like his Fifth Symphony. He began to break away from the traditional forms and rules of music of his time. That must have been devastating for a musician. Absolutely. But despite this personal tragedy, Beethoven's middle period was when he composed some of his most popular works, like his Fifth Symphony. He began to break away from the traditional forms and rules of music of his time. That must have been devastating for a musician. Absolutely. But despite this personal tragedy, Beethoven's middle period was when he composed some of his most popular works, like his Fifth Symphony. He began to break away from the traditional forms and rules of music of his time. That must have been devastating for a musician. Absolutely. But despite this personal tragedy, Beethoven's middle period was when he composed some of his most popular works, like his Fifth Symphony. He began to break away from the traditional forms and rules of music of his time. He was really revolutionary, wasn't he? Definitely. He wasn't afraid to break conventions and he expanded the symphony, sonata, and concerto. His work paved the way for the romantic era of music. He was really revolutionary, wasn't he? Definitely. He wasn't afraid to break conventions and he expanded the symphony, sonata, and concerto. His work paved the way for the romantic era of music. He was really revolutionary, wasn't he? Definitely. 
He wasn't afraid to break conventions and he expanded the symphony, sonata, and concerto. His work paved the way for the Romantic era of music. He was really revolutionary, wasn't he? Definitely. He wasn't afraid to break conventions and he expanded the symphony, sonata, and concerto. His work paved the way for the Romantic era of music. He was really revolutionary, wasn't he? Definitely. He wasn't afraid to break conventions and he expanded the symphony, sonata, and concerto. His work paved the way for the Romantic era of music. He was really revolutionary, wasn't he? Definitely. He wasn't afraid to break conventions and he expanded the symphony, sonata, and concerto. His work paved the way for the Romantic era of music. He was really revolutionary, wasn't he? Definitely. He wasn't afraid to break conventions and he expanded the symphony, sonata, and concerto. His work paved the way for the Romantic era of music. He was really revolutionary, wasn't he? Definitely. He wasn't afraid to break conventions and he expanded the symphony, sonata, and concerto. His work paved the way for the Romantic era of music. He was really revolutionary, wasn't he? Definitely. He wasn't afraid to break conventions and he expanded the symphony, sonata, and concerto. His work paved the way for the Romantic era of music. He was really revolutionary, wasn't he? Definitely. He wasn't afraid to break conventions and he expanded the symphony, sonata, and concerto. His work paved the way for the Romantic era of music. And how about his later years? His later years were marked by personal struggles and declining health, but he still composed some of his most profound works during this time, like his Ninth Symphony. And how about his later years? His later years were marked by personal struggles and declining health, but he still composed some of his most profound works during this time, like his Ninth Symphony. And how about his later years? His later years were marked by personal struggles and declining health, but he still composed some of his most profound works during this time, like his Ninth Symphony. And how about his later years? His later years were marked by personal struggles and declining health, but he still composed some of his most profound works during this time, like his Ninth Symphony.
and how about his later years? His later years were marked by personal struggles and declining health, but he still composed some of his most profound works during this time, like his Ninth Symphony. And how about his later years? His later years were marked by personal struggles and declining health, but he still composed some of his most profound works during this time, like his Ninth Symphony. And how about his later years? His later years were marked by personal struggles and declining health, but he still composed some of his most profound works during this time, like his Ninth Symphony. And how about his later years? His later years were marked by personal struggles and declining health, but he still composed some of his most profound works during this time, like his Ninth Symphony. And how about his later years? His later years were marked by personal struggles and declining health, but he still composed some of his most profound works during this time, like his Ninth Symphony. And how about his later years? His later years were marked by personal struggles and declining health, but he still composed some of his most profound works during this time, like his Ninth Symphony. It's incredible that he was able to compose such amazing works even while he was losing his hearing. It's incredible that he was able to compose such amazing works even while he was losing his hearing. It's incredible that he was able to compose such amazing works even while he was losing his hearing. It's incredible that he was able to compose such amazing works even while he was losing his hearing. It's incredible that he was able to compose such amazing works even while he was losing his hearing. It's incredible that he was able to compose such amazing works even while he was losing his hearing. It's incredible that he was able to compose such amazing works even while he was losing his hearing. It's incredible that he was able to compose such amazing works even while he was losing his hearing. It's incredible that he was able to compose such amazing works even while he was losing his hearing. It's incredible that he was able to compose such amazing works even while he was losing his hearing. It truly is. Beethoven's life is a testament to his determination and passion for music. Despite his challenges, he has left an indelible mark on the world of classical music. It truly is. Beethoven's life is a testament to his determination and passion for music. 
Despite his challenges, he has left an indelible mark on the world of classical music. It truly is. Beethoven's life is a testament to his determination and passion for music. Despite his challenges, he has left an indelible mark on the world of classical music. It truly is. Beethoven's life is a testament to his determination and passion for music. Despite his challenges, he has left an indelible mark on the world of classical music. It truly is. Beethoven's life is a testament to his determination and passion for music. Despite his challenges, he has left an indelible mark on the world of classical music. It truly is. Beethoven's life is a testament to his determination and passion for music. Despite his challenges, he has left an indelible mark on the world of classical music. It truly is. Beethoven's life is a testament to his determination and passion for music. Despite his challenges, he has left an indelible mark on the world of classical music. It truly is. Beethoven's life is a testament to his determination and passion for music. Despite his challenges, he has left an indelible mark on the world of classical music. It truly is. Beethoven's life is a testament to his determination and passion for music. Despite his challenges, he has left an indelible mark on the world of classical music. It truly is. Beethoven's life is a testament to his determination and passion for music. Despite his challenges, he has left an indelible mark on the world of classical music. Thank you for your help, Clara. This gives me a lot to work with. My pleasure, Jake. I'm sure your project will be fantastic. Beethoven's life and work are really inspiring. Good luck. Thank you for your help, Clara. This gives me a lot to work with. My pleasure, Jake. I'm sure your project will be fantastic. Beethoven's life and work are really inspiring. Good luck. Thank you for your help, Clara. This gives me a lot to work with. My pleasure, Jake. I'm sure your project will be fantastic.
Beethoven's life and work are really inspiring. Good luck. Thank you for your help, Clara. This gives me a lot to work with. My pleasure, Jake. I'm sure your project will be fantastic. Beethoven's life and work are really inspiring. Good luck. Thank you for your help, Clara. This gives me a lot to work with. My pleasure, Jake. I'm sure your project will be fantastic. Beethoven's life and work are really inspiring. Good luck. Thank you for your help, Clara. This gives me a lot to work with. My pleasure, Jake. I'm sure your project will be fantastic. Beethoven's life and work are really inspiring. Good luck. Thank you for your help, Clara. This gives me a lot to work with. My pleasure, Jake. I'm sure your project will be fantastic. Beethoven's life and work are really inspiring. Good luck. Thank you for your help, Clara. This gives me a lot to work with. My pleasure, Jake. I'm sure your project will be fantastic. Beethoven's life and work are really inspiring. Good luck. Thank you for your help, Clara. This gives me a lot to work with. My pleasure, Jake. I'm sure your project will be fantastic. Beethoven's life and work are really inspiring. Good luck. Thank you for your help, Clara. This gives me a lot to work with. My pleasure, Jake. I'm sure your project will be fantastic. Beethoven's life and work are really inspiring. Good luck. の練習はこれで終わりです。お疲れ様でした。もしよかったらチャンネル登録をお願いします。それじゃ、またね。